How to GPU mine Pascal coin with AMD GPUs. Pascal coin has recently been added to Poloniex and trading took off. You can see it has a very high volume of BTC at the time of making this video and it's even higher right now. Here you can see a pricing chart and you can see when it was added to Poloniex and the price decline and then it started to incline slowly and it's been going up since the making of this video. Here is the Pascal coin website pascal.org. Pascal coin is a new cryptocurrency written from scratch and it is designed to work without an operations history yet it is able to control double spending or check balance. Instead of storing balances on the blockchain, Pascal Coin offers a safe box system similar to a bank account. Since its account system is very similar to a bank account by design, Pascal Coin is an easy to understand and easy to work with cryptocurrency. Through easy to remember account numbers instead of cryptographic addresses, everybody can have an overview of how it is designed. And then you see an example of a Bitcoin address and an example of a Pascal Coin address, which is only seven characters long. You can learn more about Pascal Coin at the Bitcoin Talk forum thread, which I will put in the description of this video. To start using Pascal Coin and mining Pascal Coin, you're going to want to download the Pascal Coin Wallet, which I've already downloaded, and the Pascal Coin Miner, which I've also already downloaded. So I'll minimize the window and I'll double click on the Pascal Coin Wallet to install it. I'm going to accept the agreement, hit next. I'm going to browse to my mining partition and install it in my mining partition. I'll hit next. Hit next to create a start menu folder. Hit next to create a desktop shortcut. And then I'll click on install. And it will install the wallet for me. Now I'm going to close the installer. I'm not going to open the wallet right away. I'm going to go and extract the Pascal coin miner. I'm going to go to my Pascal coin wallet and then copy the miner files into my wallet folder. This will make it easier for me. Everything's in one place. I'll double click on Pascal coin wallet, launch the wallet. You can see that it is synchronizing from the blockchain file. Once it finishes updating the blockchain from the file, it'll find some servers and continue updating the blockchain until it's complete. Now it's synchronized. I'm going to go into my Pascal coin wallet folder and create a text document. I'll open that text document. I'm going to type in my launch command, which is Pascal coin miner dot exe space dash p space zero space dash d space and then the number of GPUs you have. I've got six on this rig, so I'm going to put in zero comma one comma two comma three comma four comma five. So I'm going to go to save as. I'll add a .bat to the end of this and change save type to all files and save that. That will create my batch file to launch the miner. I can close that and delete the text file. Now before I launch the miner I have to create a miner name. So I'm going to go to project and then options and in options I'm going to change miner name to an eight character name. I'm going to use Crypto MI. You can also choose what kind of private key the server uses. If it's going to generate a new one, use a random existing key or always use the same key. I'm just going to choose generate a new one. You can also go to private keys. Here you can create a key, generate a new key, type in a name. I can type in Crypto MI again. And you choose the first one, the 256K. Hit OK. You can also change your password here. You can also change it in options. I'm going to click on change password to create a new password because this is a wallet without a password. I'll 
I'll just use Pascal test for my test password here. Type in Pascal test a second time, and I've got a password. So now my wallet is password protected. I'll close that. Just go back in options for a second. There you can see you can also change the wallet or create a wallet password there. And now if you go to always mine with this key, you can choose the key you generated. So I'll just keep it on generate a new private key for each generated block. I'm going to have to remember my miner name. I'll click OK. Everything's synchronized so I can start the miner. When the miner starts, I'm just going to hit enter because I'm going to use localhost. And then I'm going to input my miner name, crypto MI, and hit enter. And this will start the miner for me. You can see beside minor clients, it says one connected. Here you can see the hash rate increasing. The hash rate on these RX480s will go up to about 600 mega hash per second. When you start mining Pascal coin, you don't actually have an account number. You have to find a block and get some coins to get an account. And you'll get five accounts when you find a block. So once you find a block, you can go to Explore Accounts, and there you can see all of your different account numbers and their balances. And here is my RX 470 times 7 rig. I'm going to launch the miner so that it mines with my 480 rig. I don't actually have to open up the wallet here, so I've just extracted the miner. I'm going to create a text document, open that text document, type in my launch command, pascalcoinminer.exe space dash p space zero space dash d space and the number of GPUs I have, which are going to be seven. So I'm going to use zero comma one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six. That will create my batch file to launch the miner. I'll double click on that and launch the miner. Now, instead of just hitting enter for localhost, I'm going to type in the IP address of my other computer from my router, which is 192.168.8.11, add a colon, and then 4009, and hit enter. Then I'm going to type in the same miner name, crypto MI, and hit enter. And that'll launch the miner. It'll synchronize with my wallet and mine with my other rig. If we go back to the 480 rig, we can now see that there are two minor clients connected, both the 480 rig and the 470 rig. So that's how you mine Pascal coin with AMD GPUs and how you can use multiple rigs to mine on the same wallet. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped and thanks for watching.